The man in the hat is my Uncle Augie. Uncle Augie didn't just teach me math and science. He taught me to love them. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, I never would have gotten my college degree in math. Uncle Augie was always coming and going, off on adventures. But we made the most of our time together. <laughs> <laughs> then one day, Uncle Augie just disappeared. <laughs> and he never came back. Day 130. I followed the river until I came upon a grey stone temple. Magnificent. Deep within a chamber, at the center of the pyramid, was a large puzzle cube. Identical in shape and form to the device that transported me to this savage realm. It may be my only way home, if I can just determine how to correctly position the cube. Day 145, I believe I've finally cracked the secret of the puzzle cube. Unfortunately, since my first journey to the pyramid, the giant hornets have begun constructing their nest on the side of the structure. The journey will be dangerous, but I must try to reach the cube. I leave behind this journal and my compass pendant should any other poor soul end up in this infernal place. Heaven help you. Heaven help you all. Ugh, guys, you'd better... Hide. Robin? Hey, sis. How are you? Come in. <laughs> hey, I hope you don't mind me dropping in like this, but I just got in from the West Coast and thought I'd surprise you. Robin, you're my sister. You know you're always welcome. I thought I heard voices. Is there someone else here? No, nobody. Put your stuff in my bedroom. I'll make some coffee. The last few months have been tough. My friends used to be around all the time. Now I barely get to see them. What about your boyfriend? That Casey guy? How's he? Casey's great. <laughs> Crazy as ever. Sis, can I check my email? I'm supposed to hear back about a job. Sure, go right ahead. Is something wrong with your computer? There wasn't the last time I used it. Maybe it's got a virus. Shouldn't be. Not with all of the virus protection and firewalls I have programmed in there. You have visitors. <gasps> oh, April? It can't be! But it is April! Uncle Augie! You're all right! <laughs> <laughs> Better than ever, sweetie. Uncle Augie, I want you to meet my friend, Donatello. Donatello? And I take it you must be from some strange world in another dimension. New York City, actually. Magnificent! I suppose I should be surprised. But I'm more surprised to see my niece here. How did you get here? Why? We got your message. My message? Your distress signal. Your call for help. Help? But things are perfectly fine. I said no call for help. Oh dear, the message! <laughs> it was more of an announcement, really. I was testing the transmitting systems. They still need work, obviously, as the message didn't go through as I intended. But I don't need help. No, the people of this magnificent city want to help us. They call themselves the Brotherhood, and they plan to bring all their amazing technology and medical advancements to Earth. It will change the world. It is our custom. My people wish to spread peace and love and understanding throughout the multiverse. 
But now, we will take our leave and allow you to finish repairing the transport. The sooner it is fixed, the sooner we will be able to help the people of Earth. Their transport artifact was broken when I arrived. I managed to repair it, but I didn't have the coordinates to get home. But your arrival has left a dimensional wake, pinpointing Earth. Once I finish expanding the transport platform, we'll be able to bring Brotherhood Science back to Earth with us. It's going to be glorious! A new epoch of peace, love, and understanding! Oh, Uncle Augie, it sounds so wonderful. It sure does. Hey, do you think it would be okay if I took a stroll around the city? I'd love to get a good look at their advanced technology before we leave. Sure! The Brotherhood won't mind. Just don't get in any trouble, Don. Uh, remember how I promised to stay out of trouble? Well, we're in trouble. Big trouble! The Brotherhood is just using Uncle Augie to get them to Earth so they can eat everybody! What? That's preposterous! The Brotherhood wants to serve humanity! Right. Medium rare. Like in that Twilight Zone episode. Uncle Augie, if Don says something's going on, then something's going on. I'd stake my life on it. Yes, you <sighs> will. The time for niceties is at an end. Seize them! April, get your own out of here! Run, Uncle Augie! But... Run! Excuse me, pardon me! Where are we going? Follow me! Everyone, into that shuttle! Brotherhood was using you, Uncle Augie. Uh, I can't believe that. What are these? Huh, magnetic. Uncle Augie, what is this place? The Brotherhood called this place the Forbidden Zone. No one is allowed in here. They told me it was strictly off limits. And I think I know why. I don't think they <gasps> wanted you to see this. Look. Grave. No! It, it can't be. They told me. They said they wanted to help us. Huh? Wait, I've seen these holographic stations all over town. Maybe it can shed some light on what happened here. I'll see if I can access the municipal archives. In the beginning, the Zodat civilization started a great period of unrest. The great lawmaker Motus Priam passed down the 32 precepts of compassion. I'm working up to the last entry. The end has come. The lizards tricked us. They flooded into our city from their dimension. They have taken over, and our glorious civilization is gone. To prevent them from traveling to other dimensions, we use these magnetic charges. The powerful magnetic charges destroyed the transport artifact's ability to transmit. That should trap them here in our world, and perhaps save other worlds from our fate. Stay back! Back! So much for peace, love, and understanding. <sighs> I so wanted it all to be true. We must make sure the Brotherhood never reaches Earth, no matter what! Put him 
back to work. Uncle Augie, you all right? April! Thank heaven you're safe. <sighs> Uncle Augie, we have to work quickly. I've rigged the tech tab to set off the Zodak magnetic charges and destroy the transport artifact. We'll finish the job the Zodak started. I'm afraid that won't work. I fixed the transport artifact, shielding it from magnetic overloads. Hmm. Maybe we don't have to destroy this transport artifact. April, what are you... where I think it is. This artifact isn't magnetically shielded. Don, set the Zodat magnetic charges. setting up a little surprise party. When the Counselor and the Brotherhood Army use their transport artifact, thinking it leads straight to Earth. They're gonna follow us to the other world. Spread out, find them. And once they realize that they've made a terrible mistake. There'll be no working transport artifact for them to escape through. My little April, you're an O'Neill all right, through and through. And I'm finally home after all these years. Thank you, you two. <laughs> Robin, you're not going to believe oh, now, who I found. Easy there. Oh, Uncle Hoggy. <laughs> but how? It's a long story with lots of peace, love, and understanding. Oh, it's so good to see you again. <laughs>